Hey guys, it's Robsy, back with Paperless Humans. Welcome to the third episode of this free course for Apple Notes on the iPad. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes in this course. Apple Notes can add body text directly to the page. Body text does not mix with any other items in your notes. You can structure your notes by tapping the text icon at the top or on the keyboard toolbar. You can add a title. Heading, or subheading. You can also convert these back to body text or paragraphs. or monospaced text. Formatting your text makes it bold italic underline or strike out. Apple Notes supports numbered and unnumbered lists. You can convert a paragraph to a bulleted list or create a new list from scratch. Levels in your list are easy to create using the indentation tools under the text tool or the keyboard one. They are also easy to understand because your bullet points change as you add levels to your list. For this, Apple Notes uses three bullet point types. Dash bullets don't change when you add hierarchies though. They are therefore ideal for taking basic notes. Numbered lists have one numbering type and they don't change with levels. Interactive checklists add simple to-dos to your notes. Like your numbered lists, levels don't change the checklist icon. As you check off completed tasks, they move to the bottom of the list. You can turn off this animation if you don't like it by going to your iPad settings, look for notes, go to sort ticked items and choose to do it manually. To create a table in Apple Notes, tap the table icon on the top toolbar. This adds a 2x2 two two table to your notes. You can tap the three dots icon on your rows and columns to add or delete them. The three dots icon appears on the row or column where your cursor is. Once you have added some information to your table, you can tap the three dots icon to select a row or column, then go to Format to make your text bold, italic, underline, or struck out for the whole column or the whole row. You can also do this for individual text. Here are other things you can do with your tables in Apple Notes. 
you can select multiple rows and columns by simply dragging the dots on the selection. You can rearrange the rows and columns by long pressing the three dots icon until the row or column lifts off the page. Then drag it where you want it. The table icon, when editing a table, has options to copy the table for pasting in other apps, share the table to other applications, convert to text if you want to remove the table and just keep the text, but you will have to organize this text though, and you can easily reverse the process. And lastly, you can delete the table. Those are all the things you can do when you add text to Apple Notes. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.